DWI is just a passion of mine, and I wanted to make sure my students are very much aware of the effects and consequences of alcohol and driving. So I've started looking for things that I might be able to use, big tricycles, and I couldn't find any big enough to support the weight that a student would be. So um, I looked in the catalog of the place that I had purchased the goggles from, and they had just started selling these cars, and I thought, oh, that's perfect. They are then given the instructions for the standardized field sobriety test, which is the walk and turn test and the one leg stand, and the students are required to memorize and give the test to another student as well as perform the test. So they'll come out here and drive the course and they will simulate being an officer and a suspect. They will practice pulling the person out of the vehicle, administering the field sobriety test, making the arrest if necessary. The goggles are purchased through Drunk Busters of America. Um, they are, the ones that I purchased are twilight, which means they simulate uh, darkness which is when a lot of the drinking activities occur, they're gonna occur during dark hours. They are intoxication simulation of 0.17, which is twice the legal limit plus, um, so that the students get a really good idea of what it means to be significantly impaired and not just a little bit where they think it's fun. It's more of a sickening feeling when they put the glasses on and they get a little bit heavier idea of, hey, this is for real. It was really hard. I could not stay on the track and I kept running over the cones and there was like three of everything. I did awful. I went on a curb, I not hit all the poles, cones, and it was bad. Now I know how it feels to be drunk and driving at the same time. It makes me not want to be drinking and driving. Realistically, every cone you hit is a person that dies, and that's, that's really bad, obviously, and people shouldn't drink and drive.